Rothamsted Manor, England, where Sir John Laws conceived the classic experiments on soil fertility. Time for lunch now, I think. Oh, we'll, half, uh, yes. we'll have lunch in the same place that uh, John Bennett Laws used to eat his lunch. Off we go then. Thank you. Borlaug met some of the younger scientists who had a brief to challenge him on the environmental impacts of the Green Revolution. I, I think this young lady wants to attack me, so now you attack me uh, about the environmentalists. And I'm not advocating reckless use of pesticides. Um, what are the side effects of the Green Revolution as we have seen it in Western societies and in Asia? The first stomachs that have got food in them. That's one very positive okay. side effect. Now, you want the negative. You say that we should uh, put high-yield uh, agriculture to Africa at the moment without taking consideration. I mean, we can go out spraying with pesticides and that will affect the environment. Fertilizers, there are many publications about the side effects of nutrients in the environment. You've got to separate toxic substance from nutrients. Separate fertilizer from pesticides but first. And then we talk about each pesticide. I was trained that pesticides were bad the fertilizers were bad, that we tried to utilize the natural resources to control the pest problems. Have you ever lived on a small farm? One hectare? Have you ever done this production? Yes, answer me. No. no. That has a lot to do with the, the way you interpret these things. And probably I'll check in by saying, if you go to a place where there's no choice between, uh, or sort of all you've got is food that has been produced using fertilizer, the <coughs> then you're going to eat it or you die. That's the point, you're very correct. Without fertilizers, there's no chance.